Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome once again to the Boss Report. Today, we are going to look at two banks in the Trinidad and Tobago economy, Republic and First. These are both the banking sector, a lagging barometer for econ the economy and its performance. Let's see if we can draw anything from them. Let me start first by saying Boss has rated both Republic and First uh, with neutral ratings uh, for the reason mainly of our cautiousness because of the economy. Let's look at what's happening with both of these banks and have a look at some comparatives in terms of their performance and what we can extract from such performance in respect of the Trinidad and Tobago economy. Let's look at our first graph today. And this gives you some indication of what is happening with Republic Financial Holdings Limited. Very important to note, first of all, is that net interest income is up by 5.3%. When you look at um, some other indicators, earnings per share of this company is up from 561 for the first nine months of its financial year ended September 30th, up to 593 in terms of the earnings per share. This gives you a good indicator. And let's look very quickly at what's happening with loan loss impairment as an indication of what's happening in the economy. When you look at loan loss, what you are seeing in terms of loan loss is that it has declined. Means the rate of non-performing loans, loans that are non, not paying, is in fact Fallen. And this is a good indicator, albeit a lagging indicator with regard to the economy. Let's take a look at our, no, another graph which speaks to the net performance um, of uh, the, this company and the contributions of the various areas in the past three years of uh, the key um, jurisdictions in which the company operates. First of all, you would see when you look to my uh, bar on the extreme left here, is that the rate of contribution of Trinidad and Tobago to the overall pot of profit before tax is falling. Trinidad and Tobago now contributes 81%. And you will see the other areas of the Caribbean, Barbados, Guyana, and the EC contributing 8%, 5%, 6.1%. Mm -hmm. Good story for diversification with regard to uh, Republic. Let's go to our next graph. And we look at, when we come to look at what's happening with first, we are already looking at the efficiency ratios, which is, which is ex total expenses to total net revenues. And you will see it by comparison, first is doing better than uh, Republic, the Republic group. 51%, which is expenses over total net revenues, and 58% in the case of Republic. Let's go on very quickly now and look to see what's happening actually with the figures for first. Very minimal, or I should say flat, increase in terms of earnings per share from 196 to 197. For the first nine months of its operation, this bank as well, its year end is September 30th. When you look at what's happening as well, though, you see both in the case of Republic as well as in the case of um, um, First, there is an increase in net income. It means that the loan book is growing and um, the, there is activity in terms of that sector. Um, but as we see, what is happening with earnings per share, it's relatively flat. What can we say in terms of what's happened with both these banks? For the investor, we see both companies where the price is falling. In the case of first, down 9.5% since the beginning of the year, down to 31.65. In the case of Republic, down 6%, down to 101.90 or thereabouts. What can we say with regard to what's happening in terms of the performance of these companies. For the investor, what we can see is that the dividend yield, that is the dividend over price, when you look to uh, the left of the screen here, when you see what's happening, you see that the dividend 
both in the case of first as well as in the case of republic, uh, republic in blue and first in green. When you look at them, what you see is the dividend yield is relatively high compared to what is happening in the rest of the market at 3.6, you see 4.30 and 4.27. Good indicators, dividends are relatively good once the prices hold as far as that is concerned. Um, in terms of the price to earnings, what you are seeing is Republic at the high end of 16 and a half times and first at 12 and a half times. So as a barometer for the economy, let us say that as a lagging barometer, I should say, let us, when we look at it, we are seeing that the banks are showing reasonably good resilience in the face of the economic challenges that we are experiencing in this particular economy. As I said before, our rankings for both of these companies, neutral in the case of Republic and neutral in the case of First. NCB, the financial group out of Jamaica, is doing much better and we'll talk about that at some other place, but also you can look for that to read on our website, bossinvestment.com. Good news on another area, Boss has paid on its Save Invest investment fund a 30 cents US dollar distribution in uh, a, a fund operating in India Asia space, which is the best performing space in the world at this point in time, in the vicinity of 25, 26% up from the beginning of the year. Have yourself a wonderful investment week. Look on the newspapers for what's we, what we are saying with regard to our various funds and their performances. And look for our, um, our website, bossinvestment.com, for much more details and news. You can call us at the number here, and you can inquire for investment information at invest at bossfinancial.com. Have yourself a wonderful investment week. This is Subhash Ram Kilawan for The Boss Report.